welcome back to episode two. Ethan? Ooh. We're in the woods. Ethan! Ethan Forrester, Lord of House Forrester. I couldn't find him. Could you? He hides too well. And if he were smart, he would reveal himself. I don't like this game anymore. Maybe something happened to him. He so by fine. the looks of it, we get He's to play as different characters. This is a game. I win. I win. Congratulations, your lordship. <laughs> don't worry. It's just a game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like it. He was worried you were gone. I thought we'd never find you again. I'm right here, and I promise, I'm not going anywhere. I wish Mira was here, and Asha, and... and Roderick. I do too, but Mira's in King's Landing and- Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe, I promise you. I don't want Gad to die either. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. I'll miss Gareth. Um, he won't get hurt. He was nice. I don't know what he yeah, did to get sent away like, like that. <clears throat> he's well tough. He let me ride one of his pigs once. It was fun. Gareth is strong. He can take care of himself. No one will tell me what Gareth did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Roiland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well... Sir Roiland, for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? And he calls you a milksop. <laughs> uh, that's quite Sir funny, Roiland actually. Sir forgets himself. After all, yeah, you are the lord of the house now. He doesn't know me, or, or what I'm capable of. What does milksop mean? I don't know. But I know it's not good. Ethan, you should let Sir Roiland teach you how to wield a sword. Like, like a man. He taught Roderick and... Asher, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. <laughs> Do you remember when we were younger? When we all used to play here? You, me, Roderick, Asher. We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah. Where was I? You weren't born yet. We had so much fun. But then, well, then everything changed. Roderick became so serious, the Lord in training, and he never smiled anymore. And Asha, Asha just got angry at everything. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. Uh, I know a Lord has many God, responsibilities, I can't promise. but you don't need to be like them. I don't want to change. It's for you to decide uh, for yourself. I may have to change. I'd rather have my brother than a lord. You'll have to have both, I'm afraid. But since you're the new lord, you can do anything you want. I suppose. Everyone will have to do as you say. So I could have all the sweets I want. Funny <laughs> <laughs> it with that simple. That's an interesting way it of thinking about it. would be nice if someone did what it. I wanted for once. As many as you'd like, yes. Really? Of course. Why not? Lord Ethan, you're needed in the Great Hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. All right. What's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived, unannounced and certainly unexpected. He's come demanding justice. For what? Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. It's your decision. Why are we listening you to him? You are the Lord. If I were Lord, I would command yeah. Ethan to stay with his family. I might remind you, Sir Royland. I'm the new Lord of House Forrester, not you. Of course, my Lord. It's okay. You should go. It's what must be done. It must Fine. be done. Let's be done with it. 
Well, that sucks. I was enjoying playing hide and seek. So guys, welcome back to episode 2. This is an absolutely amazing game. I'm loving it at the moment. Episode 1 was awesome. Quite a few twists in it, like, early on as well. Which is really, really cool. They showed up unannounced. Who's Lord wife? Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here? The business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong, so don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you said you were the Lord. Now prove it. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough it. as it is. I can handle Lord Whitehill. Well said, my lord. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men, and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men roll over. I think we're going to play a badass character in this playthrough, so let's, let's do this. Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. The mm. late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house, but to his family Ignore it's still a loss. <laughs> my only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. I've been waiting for this day all my life. The Foresters uh, finally get their deal. Yeah, how dare you? How dare you? I dare, and I'll do as I damn well please. And no bread and salt. What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur. No courtesies. Um, I should have expected yeah, calm yourself. Much. Calm yourself, old man. <laughs> you little fuck. That's how you talk to a lord. You foresters have shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roose Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye, and we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries, you cunt. Lord Ethan, um... you're losing control of this. We all serve House Bolton now. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? You bastard. Oh, we're gonna kill him. Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business. Keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said. When your man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? Attack uh, for no reason. You murdered no reason. his family. You murdered his family. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? He Bitch, acted please. in your name. And uh, you are the lord of this house. He was defending his family as any man would. But your men murdered them all. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. The soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. Uh, what have you done with him? We have. He, I took care that. of it. He received his punishment, and it's done. He's gone. What? Gone? That was my justice to deliver, boy, and you denied me of it. I'm not leaving until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roos Bolton. Who the hell's... Oh, yeah, what Bolton. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? <laughs> I mean no disrespect to you, my lady, considering your losses and all. But this... This is not over. It's over when my son says it is. Uh, it's over. This is over, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. 
That lad may be lord of this house, but Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven letting him know a forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. Ah, uh, yeah, you're a craven, bitch. You're a craven, Lord Whitehill. That escalated quickly. I'm gonna kill him. He's like the most irritating character ever. Just his face looking at him. It just. I was oh. wrong about your son, my lady. He stood up to him like a true lord. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. Mira? Oh, of course, the sister that we saw her in the painting, didn't we? Your sister can help us. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her as it should be. I'm really liking this, like how they make you play as different characters, like throughout the house. So you can sort of like go across the whole of, I think it's, is it called Westeros? I think it's called Westeros, like the whole place of it. But I like I like how they sort of dart you around the map trying to get you to Wonders made by man by Lomas Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. Yeah, but I I like I like how I they hope to see them all someday. There we go. Now she's finished talking, rude bitch. No, but I like how they sort of dart you around the sort of map, getting you to discover different things and controlling different things. I'm guessing different decisions that you make will influence other people, if you get what I mean. What's in here? Oh, gold. Gold. Asher sent me this coin to remember him. What a strange place, Essos. What's that? Ethan made this for me. Okay. Oh, this is like her little lockbox of all our little things. It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. It once belonged to Lady Elena. All right, what's the letter? Let's read it. Father, much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and mother could come, although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you, and I look forward to the day you can. Oh, that was a sweet letter. All right. Wow, this, this girl looks like she's being kitted up pretty well with all of this type of stuff. So, what's over here? Anything? Oh, letter. Another one. Skill lacks her letters. It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Okay. Who's that? Who's knocking at my door? One moment. Oh, sorry, my lady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. You can come in, dude. No, it's fine. Come in. He looks quite innocent. He's only a little boy. Begging your pardon, lady, but are you all right? If you don't mind my asking, you uh, seem rather upset. Yeah, I'm worried. I'm just worried about my family. Ah, letter from home, is it? It's kind of you to ask. Of course, my lady. You've always been kind to me. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. 
<laughs> At which point he goes no slower. You work for Lady Marjorie? I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. Uh, yeah, it's it's widely known that I work for Lady Marjorie. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei? They appeared to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but it was definitely an argument. What did they say? Oh, okay. I ran out of time. I, I heard them arguing about House Forrester. House Forrester? I thought you'd like to know. Forgive me if I was mistaken. I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. Most people don't tend to notice a call boy. Not in King's Landing with so many lords and ladies about. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. Good night, my lady. That's quite an awesome little skill, though. Like, that, that's actually pretty cool. Who's it? Who oh dear? Who's that? Lady Marjorie. Oh. You're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Come, there's something we must discuss. Like what? I'm guessing... From the day you arrived in oh. Highgarden, I thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. Really? What you've suffered is beyond imagining. And your poor family as well. I need your help, my lady. Of course. And I will help you in any way I can. But there's another matter we must attend to first. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the North whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the Royal Sept. She mentioned the Northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. She was very what? pleased with herself. Her face was full of mirth as she said it. What does she intend to do? <sighs> she intends to make you miserable. Knowing that will make me miserable as well. She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. For what, I don't know, but she's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. Yeah, I cannot I afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. What do I say? Find a way to appease her. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. See if the Queen Regent is ready to receive us. Hmm. That's a pretty blingy hat he's got. Is that like solid gold or something? You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. So basically lie. That's one. That's, that's right. I can do that. Good luck. This is going to be hard. I, I, I like telling people how it is, so this is going to be actually quite hard. <laughs> okay. So we've basically got to appease her. You can her. do this. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll try. I like telling people how it is. Like, if they're a dick, I like telling them they're a dick. Especially... That, is that Tyrion? <gasps> I love him. He's an ah, Lady awesome Marjorie. Character. Aren't you looking lovely this evening? Lord Tyrion. Your Grace? With your permission, allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Um, Neil, bow, stand tall. Neil. 
your grace. The girl knows her courtesies. Impressive. You may rise. House Forrester is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, your grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Is your family loyal to the king? Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. I don't know. We serve he's not King here, Joffrey. Is he? She yeah. is. Joffrey is the one true king, your grace. Hmm. And yet. For centuries, the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. A house of traitors. You're not making this easy. Yes, your grace. They are traitors. The Starks were your liege lord, yet you name them traitors so easily. I take it this is the kind of loyalty the king can expect from you, if you have any loyalty at all. What do you want is me to your say? house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roos Bolton? Um, here's the new warden. Roos Bolton is also. Yeah, here's the new he warden. He is the warden of the north, your grace. He is. And I, the queen regent, and Tyrion, the master of coin. The girl has a remarkable talent for answering questions while in fact saying nothing at all. Old allegiances are not easily abandoned. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Forster Ironwood does seem rather unique. Yes, Your Grace. Yes, yeah. Your Grace. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? I was getting them and they do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. Uh, yeah, there are limits. There are limits, Your Grace. Perhaps. But not if your house faces potential ruin. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the war? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? Oh no. Uh, I'm sure she regrets it. I'm sure she regrets it. Perhaps. Perhaps not. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts. You are a girl from the north here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I'm sure Let she would... Let the girl answer the question. Uh... Go on. Be true to the I king. I would be true to the king, your grace. Well said. I was beginning to worry you didn't have your priorities straight. She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. <laughs> I love to. My sense is this girl will say almost anything to get what she wants. Which is not very encouraging. I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of course, Your Grace. I'll walk you out. This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once, at the tourney at Lannisport. Even then he didn't dress Ruse Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. 
These would be trying times for your family, yeah, even thanks. under the best of circumstances. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. That's very kind of you to say. That certainly took courage. To so publicly declare your loyalty to Joffrey for all to hear. Poor Lady Marjorie was humiliated, although Cersei seemed quite pleased. It was quite the first impression. <laughs> I, I of course, really found like it all highly entertaining. I don't particularly like her. Yet you did your best to please. You'll do well here in King's Landing. My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. We must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood. And I speak for the crown in this regard. Yeah, you, Not could help. Her. you can help my family. I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure Ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance. And it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Are you willing to risk that? Yeah. It may be far too dangerous. Anything you say, Tyrion. <laughs> it's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Please. You are a brave girl, aren't you? I'll consider it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. The mere thought of them makes me thirsty already. Thank you for the advice, Lord Tyrion. Just be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. Good to know. Yeah, Tyrion's like the most awesome character in Game of Thrones, in my opinion, anyway. If he says something, you do it, because he's just awesome. Mira, I was worried. How was it? Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. It went well. It went well. Really? That's a relief. Cersei is known for being rather difficult. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back, here with the fourth cousins and the ninth-born sons. Ah, Sir Jamie, I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah, what? It's true. And over in Martell, the Red Viper. I'm told he has a paramour. Get us in trouble. You'll get us in trouble. We're just having some fun. Perhaps Lady Marjorie could make the right introductions. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Although, marrying a king, I can only imagine what that would be like. Would you marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? Hell no. He does have a certain look about him. And he's always treated Lady Marjorie well. Which is more than you yeah, can say for his mother. I'd marry anyone if it helped my family. Right. Of course. Well, I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. Let's see. Who else should we marry off? Brian of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what a perfect match. Sir Bronn and... What are you doing? Uh, nothing. Playing cards. Well. Sarah? Yeah, sorry. I'm sorry, my lady. As am I. We shouldn't have been messing about. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. The Queen was pleased by your display, Mira. I'm just glad it's over. King's Landing can be exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. 
I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once they know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? No, not really. People are not always so easy to please. If you showed Cersei your true heart, she would stab it with a fork. You learn very quickly. Your words to Cersei were brave, but I know you must fear what the Boltons might do to your family. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. Should we ask for her help? Or do not ask for her help? I don't know. That's putting her into a thingy spot, isn't it? So, like, she might, like, begin to hate us. Uh, do we ask? I'm gonna ask for her help. I... I did have a favour to ask of you in return. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. Fair enough. It's about my family. I trust her. Alright. Fair enough. Go on. Um. Ask. Forgive me, my lady. I wouldn't otherwise ask this of you, but my mother insisted. It's about my family. Ramsay Snow. What would you have me do? My mother fears our family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. She thought, if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the Crown. I know it's a lot to ask of you, and I wouldn't otherwise, but she insisted. That is no small request, especially now. I know, my lady, and I wouldn't ask this of you otherwise. But my mother has left me no choice. She insisted. Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks. And now you would have me ask him to intervene? Is the situation that dire? You can't, my lady. King Joffrey won't like it. Just think how he turned on Lady Sansa. Uh. I am well aware of the risk. I can see how important this is to you. I don't know, Mira. If Cersei were to find out. Uh. Don't fear her. Don't let the Queen bully you. You have power over him, Lady Marjorie, as no one else does. Not even his mother. Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. Very well. I'll make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Hell Thank yeah. you, my lady. I will send a raven to my family at once. This isn't going to go well, is it? But from there, guys, I think I'm going to end the episode there. So by the looks of it, we're going to go straight back to Garrett. So maybe we've just got... How many characters is this? Three characters, so Garrod, Ethan, and I can't remember her name now. Uh, I can't remember her name. But anyways, uh, Mira, that's it. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thanks for watching, and be sure to keep like up to date with these episodes. I will be uploading another one shortly. So I hope you really enjoy, and looking forward to the next one. So thanks for watching, and I hope you have an absolutely awesome day.